We are here in Miami, Florida, site of Russell Reunion with the greatest intercontinental champion of all time, the Honky Tonk Man, good friend here. And uh, Honky, tell us just a bit about the, the whole weekend here, including uh, your Q&A with, uh, with Jake Roberts on uh, Friday night. Yeah, that was just kind of a, something I heard. They said, Jake's over in the room over there. And I said, where, where, where? And I went and I kind of crashed the party. And, but we had fun with it, and uh, I think the fans had a great time. Is it fun these weekends getting to hear from a lot of fans, especially fans that have been following you for, for such a long time? And yet you see that real contrast in the business at something like Wrestle Reunion and, and getting to see a lot of the guys, uh, just all different generations. It's, it's, yes, because this, this has been a great group of guys, and uh, we're all very friendly and cordial to each other. There's no attitudes like you get when you go over to the WWE stuff, or there's no you know restrictions on you we're, we're able to interact with the fans here much more than you can if you went to the fan access where they got 10 security guards standing there and you get one autograph and you can't talk to anyone and they shuttle them through like cattle we didn't do that we don't do that here and this is this is really a great event a few years back uh, in 2009, you were uh, there at the Hall of Fame to induct uh, Coco Beware. And I just wanted to know kind of what the process is like, because there's always the stories that a lot of the writers will sit down with guys to prepare speeches. And I find that mind boggling that a writer yeah. is going to tell you here, this is how you should go out and, and do this speech. It just seems a, a bit of a disconnect there. Well, yes, it is. And uh, of course, mine wasn't scripted. But when they call me and said, uh, do you need us to write anything for you? I said, no, I've trained with Coco, and I've known him for over 30 years. I, I don't have to be scripted. And they said, well, uh, just can you do it in three minutes? I said, sure. So I went out, and I, but, but I had to let them see the script first. Yeah, right. It was like, come on, man. Honky Tonk I mean, Man deserves a bit better than that. Come on. In uh, fact, in fact, the, the guy I crashed his party the other night, he's, that's him sitting over there. Oh, let's, let's get a shot there. Yeah, yeah he's a... Uh, a special cameo here. A cameo Jake and his snake making its Jake way onto the Fight Network. Well, I don't know if you'd call that a snake or not, but anyway. In a couple of weeks, uh, Hunky, you're going to be up in Toronto, <laughs> one of your favorite stomping yes, grounds. Yeah, I love Toronto. We'll chat about Russell Union in a second, but is, is, uh, are the cords ready for the Cadillac Lounge? I think so. Uh, you know, I'd, I have to get back over there. Yes, I do. I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, so I hope the people over there will come over and send me over there, and I'm ready to sing. Well, WrestleMania is coming up April 13th through 15th. The Honky Tonk Man is going to be, be roaring there. into Toronto. I'll be in Toronto. Yes, I will. It's one of my favorite cities, and believe me, there's nothing like a cold Canadian. There you go. Actually, I'd rather have a hot one. Uh, very nice. <laughs>